Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Ulfa Rima Dewi. I'm the student of English Education Study Program at Raden Fatah State Islamic University. Okay, today I will read the material about the psychologies of money. Are you a compulsive spender or do you hold on to your money as long as possible? Are you a virgin hunter? Would you rather use chart accounts than pay cash? Your, your answer to this question will reflect your personality. According to psychologistic, our individual money habits not only show our beliefs and values, but can also stand from past problems. Experts in psychology believe that for many people, money is an important sim- symbol of strength and influence. Husbands who complain about their wives' spending habits may be afraid, afraid that they are losing power in their marriage. Wives, on the other hand, they may waste hard amounts of money because they are angry at their husband. In addition, many people consider money a symbol of love. They spend it on their family and friends to express love, or they buy themselves this expensive expensive present because they need love people can be addicted to different things example alcohol drugs certain food and even television they are compulsive in their addition slide they must satisfy this needs to feel comfortable in the same way according to psychologists the compulsive spender must spend money for people who buy on credit furthermore Charge accounts are even more exciting than money in other words. They feel that with credit, they can do anything. Their pleasure at spending enormous amounts is actually greater than the pleasure that they get from the things they buy. There is even a special psychology of virgin hunting to save money. Of course, most people look for sales, low price, and discount. Compulsive virgin hunters, however, often buy things that they don't need just because they are cheap. They want to believe that they are helping their budgets, but they are really playing an exciting game. When they can buy something for less than other people, they are winning. Most people, expert, claim behavior a good reason for their, for for the things that they do and the real reasons. Is it not only scientists, of course, who understand the psychology of spending habits, but also business people, stores, companies, and other advertisers use psychology to increase business. They consider people's need for love, power, or influence, their basic values, their beliefs and opinion, etc. In their advertising and sales method, psychologists often use a method called behavior therapy to help individuals solve their personality problems. In the same way, they can help people who feel that they have problem with money. They give them assignment. If a person buy something in every store, says the enterers, for instance, a therapy might teach him self-discipline in this way on the first day of his therapy. He must go into a store stay five minutes and they leave on the second day he should stay for 10 minutes and try something on and on the third day he stay for 15 minutes ask the sales break a question but does not buy anything soon he will learn that nothing but will happen to him if he doesn't buy anything and he can solve the problems of his compulsive buying Okay, I think that's all from me. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.